from the one little corner of the famous May 26 landslide uh, that all those conspiracy wackos are saying was caused by fracking. Now unfortunately the big piece of it goes off behind the hill so we're seeing the very headwaters or head muds of it. Uh, so there you go and then it goes off that way unfortunately I'm gonna try to get around to the east and uh, anyway guys so I have to admit after coming out here and looking at the number of fracking wells around here we are completely surrounded by these uh, goddamn fracking things uh, there's one the closest one is about a half a mile from where we are in the past 10 miles I would say we've passed at least 30 of these fracking wells anyone who tells you that this land out here it, it is not completely riddled with uh, with these things clearly coal brand Colorado every we, we started we these started coming into sight 12 miles north of coal brand so we we're four miles so we've been driving for about eight miles and I'm guessing I haven't kept count I'm guessing 30 of these sites and you really need to get up in the air to uh, see the depths of this I'm gonna try to find my way around to the other side because uh, this I, I mean this is a, a tiny little a tiny little cove this is the very north west corner uh, and I don't know if you can see I mean every single tree right up here I mean these are full-grown trees lying in the dirt uh, so anywho there you go decide for yourself whether this thing was caused by two inches of rain or, or not I mean I don't know I, I don't know guys obviously you're never going to prove whether this was caused by fracking or not and I wish I could get up in a chopper but there's plenty of YouTube just go on Dutch sense and put Colorado landslide helicopter tour uh, and you can see the full eight square miles of this sign of the end times uh, this is a tiny peak so I'll see what I can do getting to the other side of this but I think this is as close as we can get mm. Bye, guys.